Hey, real estate agents, welcome to the Weekly Closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with my co-host, Joey Sampaga, the man with the plan. How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent, ready to party hardy. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, not really, but... <laughs> Sounds already ready good. for the weekend, huh? I'm what's ready. Up? What's Let's up do with it. that? What's up with that? Hey, we are the Real Estate Marketing Maniacs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we have a special guest with us today, and that guest is Heidi Majidi with Remax Fine Properties. You did it. You got yes. my name right. Yes. Woohoo. First oh. part. Well, you know, I have, yes. it, I have, the, you know, I have it all <laughs> set there for me, but uh, how are you doing? I'm well. Good. I'm just going to call you Heidi then. That's that's good. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for being here. Yeah, uh, we're going to have an interesting show. I want you to share some of the things that you're working on mm-hmm. in your real estate business. But let's first start with how long you've been in real estate and what really got you into the business. Sure. I have been in real estate for 12 years. Um, what got me into the business was a really terrible experience I had with an agent. My, um, at the time, fiance and I were looking for a house and we had this agent and she was awful. I mean, oh. um, communication, uh, couldn't answer our questions, wasn't available. Um, we pretty much, I felt like I pretty much did everything myself when I didn't know what I was doing. Wow. And um, we, we did wind up closing and I thought to myself, if this person, <laughs> fill in the blank, use your use your Be. choice word. Um, <laughs> if this person can do this, I I could definitely do this. And so, um, it kind of that's what spearheaded the whole thing. Was I thought I have to provide a better experience than this? Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. All yeah. right. So what what's led you to so twelve years now? Mm-hmm. What what do you attribute to your successes in real estate right now? What what's kind of the main focus? I think my success in real estate comes from my attitude um, and my concept and perception of what this really is about. Um, I I really am passionate about helping people and helping the community and doing what I can to better a person's situation. Yeah. So um, if that's buying, if that's selling, if that's renting, whatever that is, I, you know, my satisfaction comes out of, of, of truly helping that person achieve whatever it is for them in that right. moment. Okay. And I come from a very authentic, genuine place. And so I think people can feel that uh, honesty and, and I'm very transparent with them. And I just, get a lot of referrals because they trust me and they know that I really have their best interest. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. And we were talking earlier about how you get asked all the time, well, what's, what's your niche? What's this? What's that? And I like what you said. You said your, your niche is helping people. Uh, yeah, that, I, I niche, do. People ask right? me all the time, you know, where do you, what's your niche or what's your farm or what's your, you know, and I just say I my niche is helping people. I don't I don't discriminate against location or price point. I help anyone anywhere, you yeah. know, regardless of circumstance. And right. um and that's my passion. So yeah. yeah. No, totally awesome. No, and I haven't heard that before. I mean, it, usually people have a very specific, like you're saying, you know, either mm-hmm. luxury niche or. Uh, first-time buyers or whatever that happens to be, mm-hmm. right? Downside people want to downsize, whatever it is. Uh, but I, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Now you've been so you've been solo agent mm-hmm. for quite a while, right? Yes. And but what I hear is now that you are in the process, right, of <laughs> kind of building up that team. Yeah. So you want to share a little bit about that, like what you know, what led to that? Mm-hmm. You knowing that oh, it's time. Yeah. Right. So for the past probably probably about four or five years now, I have been operating um, by the seat of my pants. I, I'm just I'm so busy. I have two small little kids, and you know I just I don't sleep. I pretty much just work all the time. Um, and everyone kept approaching me. You need help. You need help. You need help. Well, my first um, team ad, I guess you could say, was getting a transaction uh, coordinator, which mm-hmm. was critical. And I um, did that purely out of, I cannot do this by myself anymore. I just walked into her office and I plopped down, you know, four files and I said, you got to help me. And I never looked back. Um, And that year that I made that decision, I doubled my business because I wasn't tied up with, you know, everything. And a lot of it was a mental shift for me because I was such a hands-on, I want to do everything for my client, you know. 
Yeah. And so I, um, but she's incredible, and um, we have the same mindset of helping people and all of that. So, so that was my first one, and then, you know, a few years go by, and then it's, you know, I can't, I just can't handle it all by myself, and so, um, I went ahead and and just kind of put out into the universe. I'm a big law of attraction universe okay. girl, so. I just kind of put it out there that I wanted to uh, start a team and I wanted to align myself with the right people. Mm-hmm. That was very important to me. Um, and I uh, I put out a little Facebook video um, and just started kind of spewing off at the mouth about <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted. And, and it was really more of a like setting my intention and kind of putting it out there and um, how I was... Um, kind of appalled at the conversations that I overhear or some of the people that had reached out to me when they heard I wanted to start a team and the first thing off their tongue is what am I going to get out of it what how much money am I going to make how many deals am I going to do you know and I just said that's not what that's not what this is about for me and I can't I can't have somebody like that affiliated with me or on my team so um so put out this book that or this um not a book, not yet. That's next. No, I uh, I put out this Facebook post and I just said, you know, if you are interested in just helping people and helping the community and want to um, just be a part of something bigger and better than yourself and you're not in this for the money, then call me because I'd love to talk to you. And I had a lot of people call me. Crazy, right? You say, awesome. do you want to do this and not make any money? Because obviously you make yeah. money. That's the byproduct. That's not That's the main right. thing, you know? Right. And um, and I made my first hire last week. I'm super excited about. She's amazing. And I've had a lot of people that have reached out that said, I am going to go to real estate school because I want to work with you. And um, and you know they it's 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 been great so I have no idea what I'm doing um, I'm, <laughs> I'm I will figure it out as I go but I I feel like if I have the right people and and put yeah. it out there then you know right. abundance will come and that's it yeah for sure well it's, from our conversation before we started I mean you obviously know what you're doing with regards to uh, how to get business? I mean, it sounds yeah, like almost one hundred percent of your business is referral. Yeah, yeah. So the real, the whole real estate thing. I mean, there's no question that I've got yeah. the the great realtor part down. It's the yeah, it's the sure. business p- aspect of it that I'm I'm still you know trying to work out because I've been so focused on the client for so long. Now I have to switch gears, and so that's been my biggest challenge. But right. um, but it's but I'm embracing it. You know, I'm not going to get to an, the next level if I don't embrace. Yeah. the challenges and the obstacles that come up for along sure. the way. For sure. Well, I'm sure you have a pretty good support group with a security title and Jackie in the background. Absolutely. There you out. Yes. <laughs> yes, Miss <Ms>. Jackie. <laughs> so what about sharing with us, um, before we start, I know we were talking a little bit about uh, what drives you. How about, yes. can you share a little bit? What, yeah. what motivates you? What drives you to Yeah, this is good. To do yeah, this? so I... Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of uh, th- this. This whole I'll, I'll back up a sec. So this whole team thing um, has got me thinking about taking myself to the next level. And I always was my own roadblock. I was blocking my own success from that because I was scared and I had fear and I'm not good enough and I can't I can't possibly do that. I'm just gonna and then I would you know go back to being an individual solo person. So um, a lot of that when I started to dig, excuse me, deeper into kind of a self-awareness of why am I doing this? Like, what is it that's creating this habit and this, this constant, you know, voice, this, I call it my dark passenger telling me you can't do it. You're (laughs) not capable. And so it got, I, 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 I realized it went all the way back to my childhood and my, um, you know, my father died when I was very young, and that was a very traumatic experience for me. And because of that, I kind of went into this spiral of, of um, just like a depression. I dropped out of high school. I mean, I, I it was one thing after another of um, trying to just figure out who I was and how do I deal with this like catastrophic thing that happened in my life. And um, as as an adult, I recently realized that that whole event of dropping out and and always feeling like you're not good enough and what would what would have 
become of you if you were um you know how to higher education or you know what what mm. you know and so basically that was the driving force of me saying I can do this and I'm not going to let that tell me who I am or, or, or stop me anymore. And so I've had this, you know, kind of hustle mentality um, my whole life just because I felt like I had something to prove, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if a dropout can do what I'm doing and win awards and yeah. change people's lives, I mean, anybody can do it. That's an ama- amazing success story that, that's come from it, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and, and you're at that point now where you're so busy, you're growing the team, and mm-hmm. uh, I think things are working out well at this point. Yeah. So uh, how about one thing, before we move to the next segment here, what about one thing you would tell an agent today um, that's either new to the business or maybe their business has slowed down a bit? What would you tell them to go do like right now I would tell them to open yourself up to any opportunity Um, a lot of people are finding that they're not busy because they're too isolated on the whole niche thing right they're looking for that million dollar listing how about the guy that needs a rental for nine hundred dollars you know I can't tell you how many times I've helped a rental and they'll say oh by the way my parents own you know yeah. Whatever, oh, yeah. and they want to buy a million dollars. I mean, you just don't knows, know. Right? Yeah. So when you again, when you when you make it about them and not about you, right. then opportunity will present itself to you one hundred percent of the time. That's okay. great advice. All right, That's All right. awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And uh, you know, maybe one of the things that we would tell people is, uh, you know, a team structure might be a best thing for some of these people too. Yeah. I think so. I mean, yeah. we hear a lot about teams yeah. on the show, so mm-hmm. I mean, it definitely uh, definitely makes sense. Okay, so are you ready? Are you ready to get in the ring? Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> All right. Let's do this. We're going to get in the ring with the maniacs. How about the best advice that anyone's ever given you? Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Ah, that's a good one. Well, that's mm-hmm. a real good one. That is mm-hmm. really good. How about your favorite mobile app? The security title there you go. closing cost yeah. app thing. All right. I don't know the, nice. the, the technical name, but that's... All right, all right. <laughs> How about one productivity tool or software that you use on a regular basis? I use, I mean, zip forms. I know it sounds silly, but, you know, I use that every single day. It's critical sure. for my business. So. Well, and if you're busy with real estate, you're definitely using it every yeah. day, right? <laughs> yeah. So, all right. And we're going to have you draw from the mask. Are okay. you ready? Okay. All right. Let's go for it. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? (laughs) (laughs) That's a big piece of paper. Okay. (laughs) Oh, well, it says, tell us us something most people don't know about you. I think I said that earlier. Um, One Uh thing, but... Choose another one. No. (laughs) Should I? No. um, Yeah, I mean, most people don't know that that I dropped out of high school. Uh, I think that would come as a huge surprise. Um something else people don't know about me i cuss a lot <laughs> a lot well they don't know it because you didn't <laughs> on the show so yeah. a lot <laughs> watch out yeah it's kind of a problem no oh <laughs> uh, i don't i'm trying to find a button to push that i, yeah, just, don't, yeah. I just don't know yeah. what to push at this point <laughs> all right no thanks so much for sharing that yeah. um okay so if agents that were listening mm-hmm. they want to reach out to you directly yeah you know, whether it's Grab a cup of coffee, join help your them team or something, or yeah. talk about team. Yeah, please. How would they do that? Yep. Yeah. Um, you can call calling me or texting me is probably the best way. 602-570-8113. All right. There you go. Yeah. Right there. Heidi, thank you so much for yeah, being here. Of course. This Thanks for fun. having me. Yeah, Good. That was a great show. Good. Yeah. I think I I like it. Yeah. <laughs> that was, but I like listening to my voice. So yep. uh, no, you? I'm just teasing. I'm just <laughs> He teasing. really does though. <laughs> I play it really loud in my car. <laughs> nice. Turn it way up. It's bumping. No. <laughs> and I really like the show. Very authentic. Good. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, until next time, this is Jeff Underwood along with Joey Spaga. We are the Real Estate Marketing Maniacs. Oh, yeah. What? Oh. Yeah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Have a great day. Take care. Adios. <laughs> All right. Good job. Good job. Is that good? The Weekly Closer Podcast is sponsored by Jake Krabby, NMLS number 877141 at Academy Mortgage. Are you looking to buy or refinance a home? Jake Krabby is your mortgage professional. Contact Jake at 480-442-9291. 
Jay Krabby is a loan officer at Academy Mortgage, NMLS number 877141. State license for Arizona number 0920357, AZBK number 0904081, and New Mexico number 877141. Academy Mortgage Corporation, NMLS 3113, and New Mexico 01451. Call 480-442-9291. Address 15333 North Pima Road, Suite 205, Scottsdale, Arizona 85260. Academy Mortgage is an equal housing...